Hi everyone, what's happening? This is me Tahir and welcome to this new video. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Before I move on with today's topic, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up with my latest videos. I have planned some interesting content and you don't want to miss that. Okay, back to today's topic. In this video, I'm going to continue with Snapseed series and today I'm going to edit a short, a brand new photo from scratch and will try to give some creative style as well, especially using those techniques which are in trend nowadays and also will share with you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Similar like my last video, I'm going to use Android emulator for this video, but all the options will be same for you guys in iOS and Android platform. So this is the shot I'm going to edit. I'm using raw format image and yes, you can edit raw images with Snapseed, but it can only edit .dng format images, which I believe is the standard raw format file extension if you are taking raw images from your phone. If not, then there is a way to convert the other raw images file format into .dng format. For this, you have to use Adobe's Lightroom and export the image in .dng. You can do this by choosing the file type option in export settings in Lightroom. Okay, now let's start editing. So once you load your image in Snapseed, it'll give you the raw module first. In this raw module, you have the options to do the basic color corrections. So let's get started. Um, so we'll, let's try to do and balance the exposure first. Um, yeah, that's fine. And as I can see in the corner in the histogram, uh, there is like a spike on the highlight side. So I'll try to bring down the highlights. Um, yeah, around. Yep, that's fine. And then let's bring up some shadows. Yep, that's looks good. And we'll pump up some contrast as well. A little bit more. Yep. Structure. Let's give some structure. Okay. And what's next? Saturation. Let's increase some saturation as well. Okay. Um, so far, so good. Let's click OK. Okay. Now it's done. If you see before and after. Yep. And if I go to tools now. Now let's go to tools and then tune image. All these settings we have already done in raw module. Um, it's just the ambience I want to use. Uh, here you go. And I'll increase that. Uh, more, 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 more. That's too much. We'll bring it down. Yep. Okay. Let's see before and after. And I'll crop this image as per the Instagram's ratio again. So tools, crop. 5 by 4 is already there. I'll just rotate it and we'll adjust accordingly. Uh, make it a bit of a center. Yep. Okay. Looks good. This is not straight. So I'll go in and go to rotate. Looks good. It auto adjusted properly. Yep. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is go to curves section and i'll go to channel and start with red i hope you have some sort of understanding with rgb curves how they work if not i'll give you a quick rundown so there are two color schemes rgb and cmy they are opposite to each other for example currently i'm on r channel which is red of course um so if i go to the highlight section of the curve and increase the highlights it'll pump up red but if i decrease the red it'll pump up the cyan color so it's the opposite same goes for greens so what's the green on the opposite is the magenta so if i increase green of course it'll be green but if i decrease green it'll pump up the magenta color and same goes for blue as well um, if i increase blue in the curve section of course it'll be blue but if i decrease the blue it'll increase the yellow on the other side i will show you now and you guys get understanding what i'm talking about so let's go um so in this one i'll bring down red you see like it's bringing up um cyan into the highlights and a bit in mid tones in shadows I don't need red. Yep. I'll bring it down more. Okay. Now we go to the next color, which is green. And what's the opposite of the green is magenta. So if I go in green and go to the highlights and if I decrease green, you'll see it brings the magenta color, but we don't need that. I'm just trying to go for a bit of green touch in this. Yeah. And maybe bring down tone and give a little bit of magenta feel or like color in the mid tones and here as well. Uh, no, it's way too green. 
it doesn't look natural yeah that looks good and the last one is blue and what's the opposite on the blue it's yellow so we come to the highlights and I'll bring a touch of yellow in highlights and in shadows as well maybe in midtones as well let's see how it looks okay if I click OK and go before and after so far so good um, I'm happy with this sort of color grade so yeah this is the easiest trick to remember like R G B C M Y so opposite to the R is C which is cyan opposite to the G is M which is magenta and same goes for blue and yellow so if you decrease any one of these red green blues it'll increase the other color depending which color you are decreasing okay let's move on to the next tool um, so we'll go to tools again and now I'll go for the selective I'll try to bring up some texture and color from his face so let's increase a bit of brightness and we'll go ahead and give the contrast we'll go ahead and give the saturation as well oh that's too much hmm and a bit of structure this is before and this is after now i'm going to use the double exposure tool in snapseed and we'll work on this banner so i'll come up here in tools and select double exposure and then I'll click on open image. I'll use this image. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Yep. And this placement looks good. I'll select the style. Um, nope. Nah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Subtrax looks good. And we'll come up to opacity and drop down opacity. Okay. That so far looks good now we'll go come up here to this option and then click view edits and click on double exposure and the mask tool hit invert button and then go to decrease double exposure zero now we'll remove the mask from the unwanted area i'm doing this quickly because i don't want to drag this video way too much um so yeah i might not be able to fine tune this with you guys but you'll get the idea what i'm trying to do here um here you go okay okay there you go from the corners let's zoom in and i'll try to remove from the bottom Okay. Okay, that is fine. Um, there is a little bit. So there is a bit of white line. Let's just remove that. Um, oops. I'll just clear that one up and increase to hundred. I'll try to make it as close as possible. But you guys will get the idea how to fine tune. I'm not going to go much in detail. Okay, that is done. Oh, hang on. I see this. I'll remove that as well from the mask. Okay, let's, it's time to zoom out. Hmm. I'm pretty satisfied with this double exposure. Just one tool I have to use and it is the dodge and burn and it is called brush in here. So currently it's on five dodge. I'll go to minus 10 burn and try to bring the colors from this banner back. Hmm. Here you go. Uh, a little bit of, and we'll try to highlight these wordings on the banner okay that is done if i click okay look before and after 
Now the last thing I'm going to try is to add some text, which is quite common nowadays. You see in Instagram and other social media platforms, the text behind the subject or the object. It's pretty easy. I'll show you. I posted this tutorial like on how to add text behind the object on my Instagram reels. And some people reached out to me in DM and said that, can you please do it like in a slow <laughs> way and explain how it's done. So I'm adding that bit again in this video. So it'll help them out as well. So let's go. Um, we'll go to tools and text i'll select l2 what should i write um let's write music easy and we'll click okay resize it okay i'll place it somewhere here now let's bring down the opacity okay and we'll go again to this option and view edits text and masking option it's already set to zero um we'll click invert and oh, no, now it's 100 so we'll bring it down to zero it's fun time let's zoom in and just remove the text so we can make the effect like text is behind him and the other objects I'm just doing a rush job because I don't want to drag the video way too much. Um, we'll just remove this. And from here. Okay. And I think there is something in the corner as well. Yep. Here you go. We'll remove this piece as well. What else is remaining? Um, rest is fine. You just have to add back on this side. Doesn't look good. Yep. And Here you go. Um, I'll click OK. Here you go. The effect is done and maybe I'll increase a bit of opacity. Yeah, that's it. Let's click OK. And that's it. Let's see if I go back before and after. And we are done here. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope you have learned something new today. If you like this video and want to keep up with my latest videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for the upload notification. Until next time, this is me Tahir signing out. See ya.